Double check. Oh yeah, it's eating it up. That's not good, guys. It's not good at all. Okay, update for the week. I bought some new parts. So I got another one of these. We're gonna look at cutting this off eventually. Um, uh, by the way, my finger, the update of the week for my finger. Can't really see it too well on the camera. But it's a nasty scar on my finger. And it's healed up pretty, pretty well. I have no feeling on um on my finger below the cut between the cut and the nail so uh, that's probably going to be falling off here in a little bit or something I don't fucking know but I bought some new parts so I got a new oil drain plug but it looks a little bit um but the uh, threads look a little fatter this is the the drain plug for the car the threads just look really thick compared to the old ones so just in case I bought some o-rings in case if this doesn't really fit the way I like it to um I got me one of these which is okay so this thing right here is definitely broken this guide 100% broken I looked up some images and stuff of what it's supposed to look like yeah, here's the, the new one the the one thing that i'm worried about which i'm also not too worried about because it's plastic is where did all the plastic go because this is the part that's broken this all broke off of the old one when I get it off, I'll show it to you again. So this whole, like it, it's cut off here. So all of this is in the motor somewhere. But I didn't see it in the oil pan or anywhere else. But we have a new one of those. We also have... We also have a gasket for the valve cover and a new timing cover timing case thing so this is the part that's hung up on the uh, motor mount this metal bit there's no seal there so uh, I don't know if it's there just for retention but it's kind of like annoying because my jack doesn't like to hold up the motor all the way it'll it sags down within a couple hours thinking about like i'm definitely cutting it off of the motor there's no way to see it up top i gotta go underneath see it right there that's just the motor mount so i'm thinking about just cutting it and then cutting the old one too because there are like spots like these little these little spots to like hold the hold the gasket in place while you install and stuff. There's another one over here. So we gotta figure that out. And then I also got to figure out where the other bolt for this is, which it might actually be on the other side of that mount. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that's probably gonna be an issue to be honest. Oh, you it's worn here too. Back where this bolt hits. I don't know. Well I'll have to look at the other one. Alright. So found out oh no. That right there, that's the access. Let me grab this so you can see. That round thing right there. Right, somewhere right there that's the access for the uh, for the bolt and I saw that and I was thinking I was like oh I'm not gonna I'm gonna be able to do this but it doesn't look like I will be able to actually so I'm going to have to I am going to have to remove this in order to get that um, in order to get that tensioner out. I think I got a mount over here somewhere. 
I'm still learning this motor completely. But so that means I gotta take all of this off too. We're just gonna have to see if that'll work. So let's start taking things apart. So we have to take this off, the bracket off of here too. I think we can leave all these hoses fine. Don't know what this is. This is the AC. I don't remember if we have to take that off. I don't think so with this being flexible. Might be able to just move it. We'll figure it out. Let's get this to it. See if this will work. Easy peasy. Uh, I need these ones off. Um, uh, do I have to take this off too? I assume so. We'll, we'll just do it. Oh, what? Oh, those are not the right size. <laughs> So I guess before we do that, we're gonna Let's experiment here, so we can lift this up. What is this? Oh, okay. There we go. Don't even know what that is, but we'll set that aside. We got this up. I could bend this out the way somewhere to get this out. Why don't I just rip the AC out of this car, huh? That sound like a plan? Ah, uh, man. I mean, like, looking at it, because there ain't no way I'm getting to the bolts down here. It was definitely said that you can do this in. Well, the car is in the fucking thing. But there's no way I'm going to be able to hit that access bolt. There's just no way. I could probably get, I could fit a big ass wrench. Do I have a big ass wrench that'll work? Like a 16 or something? No, he's bigger than a 16. Does an 18 fit? 17. No. no. Let's try the 11 16s. Maybe that's a more snugger fit. I don't want to round these off at all. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to fit. So we have our 18, and we just have to hope we don't kill this. Try this first. Uh, I mean, like, there's no way there's, like, I was even looking at it. Like, there's no way that that bolt is even going to reach to get out of there. Because I need to get, to, I need to get here. not pulling this motor for for this Wait, that's not happening okay uh thanks to the original mechanic on youtube he showed a trick to getting this out so like i was saying like i thought these um these bottom bolts and that bottom bracket does not come out the bolts are too short or too long but you can move it out of the way just enough and what he did is he took one of these one of these, I can't wait to get my table set up he took one of these bad boys the 10 millimeter 
and he cut it. He cut it shorter so you could fit. Because if you take this, you can see how long, how big it is. So he cut it shorter so that he could fit. So I'm probably going to have to do that myself. So let's see if we can be productive today. I need a cutter. Do I have a cutter? I have a thin cutter. I know I have my angle grinder, which I forgot about. I forgot all about this fucking tool right here that I have for the exhaust. And I, sh I struggle with that exhaust. Oh yeah, okay. I struggle with that exhaust. And I had that the whole time. I was like, oh damn, I completely forgot. All right, I'm gonna get this set up real quick. Oh, and I forgot the uh, the misses has my extension cord. So uh, I guess I will do it over here. Just try not to burn the place down. Okay, glove and glasses. Uh, I guess I'll just do it like this. That's a little sketchy, so we're gonna do this differently. Uh, that's a little better. That's a little better. Oh. Can't stop the show. The show must go on. that off from there I know I need to fix the lighting in this place I will eventually I will eventually so we can just there we go look at that so now I'll just sit this there let that cool off I'm gonna grab the uh, the grindy wheel I think I bought some more of these somewhere I don't remember though I know I got some of those, um, some of the cleaning brushes and, sh and grinding brushes, whatever you call them. You guys will see all that in, in a little bit. Looks good to me, I guess. I'll take it. Okay, it's not hot. Maybe the other end is hot though. Okay, come on. All right. Let's go see if this fits. Well, I'm not gonna see it here. Yeah, that should do. That should do perfectly. Look at that edge. Look at that edge. All I need is a little bit of space. So, oh, no. So, apparently, this is also torqued down very, very badly. So, he was using the cheater bar. So, I might use the cheater bar too. Let's see if we can break this with the power tool. If not, we got the breaker bar. Gonna be a power tool or a brake bar. Those come right out. That came right out. All right. Okay. Break the bar. Right, we're gonna want to go the other way. 
silly goosh. Uh, okay, that one's loose. ones off. Uh, that motor is moving a lot. I don't like it. Okay, so I got these bottle jacks a little while ago. Matching set. And I have out here cinder blocks. Oh, okay. Grab one of these. <laughs> Grab one of these and we'll put this down here. Alright. So let's lower this one. Uh, tighten it. Tighten this back up. Figured, I figured it out. Let me get a light so you guys can see what I'm doing. I know not everybody will approve of this, but it's what I'm doing. So I got these. Uh, let's see if I, can. I got the jacks. It's gonna be sitting here. Oh, okay. I'm tired already. Here we go. And they're really just kind of sitting here because this is holding up most of the weight. But this is kind of keeping it from doing this number on the trans. Which is doing pretty well. I'm glad about these things. They're so useful when you need them. Okay, we'll let them sit there for now. Make sure these are screwed on tight. Alright, now we should be able to do this. Yeah, we can do this a lot easier now. All of my lights are going out. One. Two. Okay, so now this, I should just be able to pull it out. Pull it out of here. Saw him do it. There we go. Motor mount out. Yeah, the mount's definitely seen better days. It's not lined up anymore. Here. I might. I might get a new one, but I'll worry about that another day. Uh, you know what I just thought about though? If we can't get this off, right? How are we gonna get the fucking thing off without cutting it still? Cause I think we still, yeah, so that, that goes onto this bottom bolt back here. Right there. So we still might have to cut the, uh, cut the gasket, but we will give the, uh, We'll give these things a try. See if we can't get them off. Yeah, they're definitely on there pretty tight. Will our cheetah brother work? No. No, it's too small. All right, yet another day. 
But we need to get that bolt off. We need to get a couple bolts off actually for this. We have to figure out how we're going to do that. Because I don't really, I'm a little limited in my tools when it comes to that specific thing. So I need, I need leverage and I don't have leverage right now. But before I go to a store and maybe buy something that will help me in this job, I'm going to set you guys up right over here somewhere. And if something comes up that I find that works, you won't miss it. You'll see it. I'm gonna smack it. Okay, we I feel like that was almost working. It's moving the motor a lot. We're gonna try some uh, PB blaster and try not to get it all. Because we need to get all of these last a little bit too. Try to get as little as possible in the open motor spots. <laughs> uh, my fucking voice, bro. I'm not a teenager, I swear. Okay, I've decided I'm gonna go to the store and find something. If anything, if I can't find something that I think would help me in this situation, um, I'm probably just going to get another 18 millimeter wrench. That's not the fancy ratchetable one, just a cheap one. And then I will be able to use a cheater bar over it or something else. I'll think of something, but I will keep you guys informed. All right, I uh, went to the store. I got this because uh, it was cute. And then I got me one of these. And this is not as thick as my other one. So that means it fits. And this side doesn't fit though. But this side fits. So that means we can get some leverage. Let's give this a whirl. We gotta go for this. We gotta somehow go for one of these. And then another one of these. We have two over here. And then one over here. This one should be relatively easy to break. Let's give it a go. Oh, look at that. Leverage. Leverage saves the day. It saves the day. We did it. It's loose. It's broken. Now we got to figure out how we're going to get the other ones because it's kind of a tight fit. Oh, there we go. It's on there. Can we get the cheater bar on there? No. No, we came off. Okay. Ugh. Nice. I can get it with my hand now. Ugh. Nice. Nice. Now it's just going to be tedious process of doing this okay yeah so from underneath we can hit these bolts pretty easily now so I'm gonna try to loosen them up a little bit from here yeah the drippy drip is the PV blaster okay so this bolt is as far out as it's gonna get and there's still bolt left so we're gonna have to cut this and cut the new one too because that's just not coming out at all. Uh, I have to get that other one from the top side to try to finagle that. I grab my other one because it's a little shorter. I can get that one from under here, but I need to back this out as much as I can so I can get to that other bolt, that access bolt on the top. So I'll be right back again. We're gonna see, that might be enough space. We might not have to loosen that all the way up, which will be nice. All right, so let's see here if we can get this in there. Ooh, it's in there. Nice. Okay, now we gotta figure out exactly how we're going to attack it. Can I get it back out though? That's the question. I might need to back out the other bolt just a little bit. Okay. But it fits. Nice. Okay, uh, let's see. So the other thing I'm looking at 
Yeah, I'm gonna back out. I'm I am gonna back out the other bolt a little bit because I still need to get a um something in there to get that bolt out. Oh, there we go. That gives us enough space right there. Nice. Okay. So now, hopefully, hopefully this is long enough to where we can get our uh, our cheater bar on there. Okay, nice. That could work. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is. I think this is gonna work. Maybe. Okay, I don't want to bend this. It might look like I might be twisting it a little bit. We're gonna keep going though. Hopefully it doesn't break off. I'm trying to watch it to make sure that it doesn't like it. It's not twisting that I can see. And it looks like it is. So we're gonna see if we can back this out. Double check. Oh yeah, it's eating it up. That's not good, guys. It's not good at all. How's this looking? Well, this is fine, but that is not. That's not looking so well at all. Okay, maybe, I don't think that's in far enough that I want it. Cause I think the issue is, is that it's not going in far enough. And I have to figure out a way to get it to go in there far enough, you know? We'll try again. We'll see if we can get, get it better this time. Yeah, no, it's just... Oh, uh, no. God damn it, man. I might have to destroy the bolt almost to get it off, which I really don't want to do. Hey guys, what can we do? up at, I got caught up and had to go into work and but basically before I did that uh, the last time I checked in uh, you can see there's a little bit of damage here I was trying to chisel to trying to get a grip but while I was at I was at work I was thinking I could try to shave down the sides like both sides of it and I don't have like a big wrench but I do have this and I could like fit this on there and get it off that way to see if that'll work. So I have to somehow figure out how I'm gonna get to shaving this off without removing some of this stuff. Cause I don't really feel like doing that right now, but it's looking like I'm gonna have to probably do some extra shit to try to get some of this stuff off because the inside is all torn up. I can't I can't do anything about that right now. But yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to keep at it and anything if anything significant happens, you'll see it. Okay, so we're probably going to have to go with like pretty much just ruining this thing and cuz like I'm I'm stuck at the point where this has to come off so that I can get to the bolt behind it. Like there's I can't get away with it taking with not doing this. 
um because the that guide is just not gonna make the timing chain work at all right so it has to come off I don't really have enough space to get in there with the re with the cutter wheel for the angle grinder but I have the grinder or the angle cutter I have the grinder and I can come in here and shave off some on on this side right here I can cut this side I can shave that side down I don't have any space to get to this side though so I'm gonna get this out so this doesn't catch fire so I might just try to do the one side enough to where I can get the get enough of a flat edge to maybe try to get some torque on there um another option I could do is I could I could weld the the allen wrench to it but I have not opened up my welder yet and I haven't experimented that with that yet so my options are kind of limited at this point and I don't think I have I don't really have room to use like certain kinds of extractors either because I have some extractors bolt extractors but I don't really have space with this being in the way with the with the mount being in the way and I think I found a, another way alright that was a little bit of a test thing I can't really get the angle I need because like this doesn't really reach it doesn't go all the way there's just so limited amount of space and trying to think of different ways I can get this off but the cut is coming at an angle and I can't get it to be any straighter than that and you can see I, I smacked the uh, I smacked this a little bit which isn't gonna hurt it but it's a thing so that's probably not going to work out either sadly so we're going to we're going to see what we can do and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit all right all right i think i'm i might just be dreaming i might just be dreaming but i think it moved i think it moved I could definitely look like it moved like a little bit just a little bit though maybe because I don't really have anything better than what I'm using like, I don't have a bigger hammer or a bigger straight uh, chisel or nothing this is pretty much what I got this is a little screwdriver seen this seen better days Hopefully it's not too bright, but you can see right here's the start or the the backside I guess of the uh, chiseling I've been doing. And if you come back down just a just a fraction, just a little bit, this is where the cut is. So it's like literally just move just this much. You can see when I grind it away a little bit. It could just be uh, wishful thinking on my end, but I think it moved. But that's all I need is just a little bit of hope. A little bit of hope that I can get this off. All right, uh, I'm taking this mount off. This, uh, this little mount that you use to pull the engine out of, I'm pulling this out to try to give me some extra space. It's just the just the one bolt that holds it there. Alright, I got a one of the small blades that I had left over from one of my previous cuts. And this kind of fits pretty decently. And maybe I can get it in there to line up with this cut. And then maybe I can get something on there to bite. I can probably even get this to go shorter so I can fit an actual wrench on there. So we're gonna give it a shot. As, as always, gloves and glasses. And you're doing sketchy tight shit like this. And it's off. 
see if we can go find that. Alright, I, f I found it. It's in the, uh, it's in the alternator. Yay. And that gives us a nice flat edge to bite on with something. So first I'm going to try to get this, uh, see if I can get the adjustable wrench to work even though it never works. These things, the idea of these things are cool, but they never work the way you want them to. Okay, that might work. Need the hammer. get this to work. It's probably gonna roll right off. Well, it's grabbing. Yeah, it's just rolling. Yeah, it's coming right off. It just kind of bent this side out. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be irritating already now. Okay, I don't have a lot of time left on this space of my card. So I'm gonna be ending this episode soon, but I just wanna show you guys real quick. I went to the store, I bought some stuff. I bought some of these, cause the idea behind these I'm sorry, I don't have the camera up the way. Lighting's not the best either, but I bought some of these, some bigger wrenches, a bigger hammer, some um, chisel stuff. And the idea with these was I was going to, I was going to set this up in a way and cut it. I was going to set this up in a way to where I could get the wrench up on here, and then I was going to torque it off, right? Um, I've also had this sitting Cause it's been a whole day. It's been the whole day. Oh, camera batteries or the uh, light batteries on it. It's been the whole day since the last time I've checked in. I've had to go to work and stuff. This is day three, I guess. I've been stuck on this bolt. Um, but I've been spraying it with the PB blaster. This stuff uh, throughout the day. Clean up some of my mess from that. And I was just out here testing something because, because if you if you notice, I was using this, which I have plastic before it even hits the ham the metal, so that compression doesn't help. And then just a regular old hammer, which doesn't have a lot of weight behind it. So I went out and I bought some of these. I bought a chisel set, so the solid metal, and I bought a nice big uh, hammer, right? And I was just out here just chilling, just looking over some of the stuff and I was testing, I was test fitting some of the stuff, right? And I used these, um, I used these, I just put it right, right on that, right on where I've been notching it this whole time. And I tapped it literally just, just two like soft taps with this thing and it rotated just, just enough. So. Took it just right there, right? And I just started tapping it. And there it goes, look at that. I'm still gonna have to figure out exactly how I'm gonna get it all the way off. Cause I don't think I'm gonna be able to sit here and tap it the whole way. But at this point, now that it's broken free, I can probably just grab some vice grips and twist it off. Um, I'm going to be showing for this part if just in case if you're working on the same motor or you have the same issue they have since upgraded this part like they have with the tensioner and a whole bunch of things with this engine they have upgraded it to where it doesn't look like this anymore the new one replaces the I'll show it to you I'll show you guys 
in the next episode if I buy the part, which I think I, w I will have it by then. I'll show you the comparison between this one and the new one. The new one replaces this, the gasket, and the bolt behind it. So you won't need the bolt that's behind here anymore. It'll just be this. You'll still have that Allen key thing, but I think it'll be stronger than this cast, whatever. Because as you saw with this, it just tore it. And this was this is 10 millimeters. I used a 10 millimeter wrench and it just destroyed it. So I think the new one will be a lot better, but it's broken free. So now we can actually keep going. It's been a couple days, so I've fallen behind a little bit on this car because of this. But we got it turned up. So I'm probably going to try... I'm going to try to take it apart. I'm going to try to get it off before I run out of time on the camera. Before I run out of time for this episode. But if I don't, I just wanted to show you guys that yeah, I got it loose, you know. I, I got it loose so we can actually keep going and you're not missing anything. But basically just a heavier hammer or more leverage, which I was going to use with those... Uh, with those new wrenches that I bought, I was gonna cut, which I've already tried to do. But just getting a heavier hammer sometimes helps. And that could even be like, you know, your mom or dad's old big sledgehammer you got, whatever. Um, and I probably even could have used that still, that, that screwdriver with the heavier hammer. But I got it anyways, it doesn't matter anymore. So I'm going to try to get the rest of this off and you'll see if I do. If I don't, thanks for watching. This is uh this is proof guys. Don't don't let ever let no adversity stop you from doing what you want to do. You just have to keep going you'll eventually get it don't ever quit especially when you're when you're too far you can't turn back the car was not going anywhere without this thing getting off it's almost done it has to be It seems like it's it's getting pretty loose, so I'm gonna put a glove on so I don't cut myself. Make sure you guys are still recording. Okay. Oh, I got four minutes left. Speed run. Oh yes. Nice. Nice. We did. We did it. Look how look how beautiful that looks. Oh, let me let me take this away a little bit. Look how that looks. The inside is tore up. The outside I just destroyed. That's crazy. But basically, so let me get this before the timer runs out. So basically, this is what the old one looks like, and I'll show you a picture right next to it of what the new what the new one will look like. And basically, this is going to extend and it's going to replace a bolt that is in here. There's a bolt back here that I have to re that I have to take out. It's a pretty simple bolt to take off, but basically, it's going to go where that um here, I'll show it to you right here. It's going to fit in here. So this is going to go and sit like in there and that's what's going to hold this is what's going to hold the guide in this place and it's not going to be that bolt anymore but we got it off we did it we got it off so um i hope you guys enjoyed this little experience this fucking four day of getting stuck on this thing but and maybe you learned something maybe you didn't maybe you just think i'm stupid but you know shit like this happens when you're working on a project car for the first time this is my first ever, like, actual time doing whatever I want on this car, so. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hope you guys enjoy watching every time. Uh, just for, just for informational purposes.